as part of effort in promoting the cultural heritage of Yoruba land, Ondo State Government, in conjunction with Yoruba Heritage Group, has urged all Yoruba people, home and abroad, to make sure that language do not go on decision. In a welcoming address at the occasion by the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Culture and Tourism, Mrs. Bolanli Akinyomi, who was represented by the Director of Finance of the Ministry, Mrs. Philanin, said that the glamour is for us all in upholding our heritage. Declaring the event open at the Adebe Mile Cultural Centre Hall, the Governor of the State, Rotime Akere Dulu, who spoke in Yoruba language as a way of promoting our culture, and his speech was delivered by the Chief of Staff to the Governor, Chief Benga Ali, said that there is need for us to make sure that all hands must be on deck in sustaining our heritage, most especially our endowment. He said further that the state government has set aside every Friday for the pupils and students across the state to wear their traditional attire to school as a way of inculcating the habit in the minds of the younger generation. Meanwhile, according to the Minister of Interior, Ogbeni Raouf Arekbe Shola, said that he appreciated the brains behind the program, aiming at promoting, showcasing, and celebrating the rich cultural heritage of Ondo State and the entire Yoruba race. He also appreciated the people of the state for defending and promoting our culture through their defensive mayor in protecting the entire race of the Southwest. According to the minister, he said culture has gone beyond our expectation, which has to do with how we relate with one another. The Honorable Minister who stole the show with his usual way of singing and dancing with various melodies. <laughs> The maiden edition of the program, which was tagged a Bateasha Exhibition of Culture 2021, was crowned with award of excellence to prominent Yoruba sons and daughters. Among those awarded at the event were Rotimi Akredulu, the Governor of Ondo State, Rauf Arebe Shola, the Honorable Minister of Interior, Queen Lillian Adebayo, wife of the President, Kaftan Television, and founder of Queen Lillian Foundation, Honorable Joseph Akinlaja. Chiviemi Elebubo and host of others. Education, me, the killer, you, me, you, the new bar, also a pay, I'm a tossing, you know, looking for it. Don't recall, I want to pay as I did a color. I don't recall going now. I can do, I said, Master, you can do it. I don't know what to do. I think I'm not going to do it. 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 I think I'm not Queen Liliana Debayo was awarded as the Yoruba Woman of the Year 2021 based on her philanthropic gesture and her zeal in promoting the culture. Mrs. Liliana Debayo was represented by Mrs. Messi Akilo Sotu. The organizer, Omoba Shegun Adishimoye, thanked Mrs. Lillian for her gesture, which he said he appreciated Mrs. Lillian for taking the award. <laughs> Yoruba Heritage International and Ministry of Public Service 
Barista Lilian Adibayo and her husband, Barista Adibayo Adibayo has been a huge supporter of this plan from the beginning. And um, we give Barista Lilian an award, basically because of what she's doing with the Lilian Foundation, the Queen Lilian Foundation. I am from, I am from Mundo, and uh, she, the foundation has trained a lot of young people in video editing, in programming, in uh, so many other things in the media. And uh, many, I have testimonies of young people who hitherto have been roaming the streets, but now they are engaged in meaningful, uh, you know, engaged for employment because of that singular opportunity. So we are not giving her an award because of any other thing than her impact in the lives of young people in the community. I must say I'm proud of it. I'm also excited. And that's why I have decided to come personally to receive it. I have been promoting the culture, you know, of uh, Yoruba. Even when I was at the National Assembly, if you see the way I dress, I dress in white with Ashoke. So for 10 years, I've been promoting the culture of uh, practically. And there is nothing as good as culture. A lot of our children these days, do not know or have forgotten our culture. I used to be proud and all my hair standing on edge when I was young. When my parents would give me Oriki. You know, when I wake up in the morning and they, 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 they give me my own ancestral Oriki. I feel proud, I feel encouraged, I feel excited. When I go back to school that day, I feel on top of the world. So, Asha, Atishé, our culture is very important that those of us who are advancing in age should help to promote this so that our children of these days will know their history, their culture, and where they are coming from. From Akure. Meet up with Adidas reporting for Kraftan TV News.